Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0. And today is day 20. So, yesterday we dove into, for the first time, the Opportunities Applet, and I showed you the five main phases of business inside of each of our three pipelines. Today we're going to start talking about stages that are available within each one of our phases and how we can, can completely customize those to the way that we do business. So let's dive into opportunities. We know that's our handshake icon here on the left hand side. And yesterday we looked at the three main pipelines, <clears throat> listings, buyers and leases. And again, our five phases in each one of those pipelines. But now we're going to go ahead and actually enter one of the phases by hovering over the icon and then clicking on it. And in, when we do, we're taken into what's called our stage view. So you can see each one of these columns are the three stages in this sense of our cultivate phase of our listing pipeline. <clears throat> Along the top here, you can see our five phases that we talked about yesterday and we can choose to go between each one of those phases and see the stages that are inside each one. So if I go to active, we can see that we have several stages here under contract, several stages in this phase, and then closed several, well really only one important stage here. So inside of each one of these stages, we have some customizations that we can make. And we can customize those by coming up to the top right hand corner and choosing our stages and checklist button. When we click on this button, first off, you're going to see in order the three stages, the probability, their checklist, and then a client update icon. If you want to reorder your stages for any reason, you can just click on the button on the far left and then drag while you're holding down your mouse, the stages to reorder them. You can also choose to rename your stage names by clicking on the pencil and then changing the name. So I'll say I'm a very high C analytical person. Nurture, warm and hot don't necessarily work for me in a cultivate setting. For me, I need to have clear guardrails and clear understanding of when somebody moves from one stage to the next. So in that sense, I might put stage number one being six to 12 months and I can click on save. And then I might change the warm stage. That might be three to six months and I can click on save. And then I would change hot to one to three months perhaps. And then if I choose to, I can add a new stage by clicking on the big teal button in the top right hand corner and we can create this stage name that's less than 30 days. We can add the probability and the position. It defaults to being last on the list, but if you wanted to drop it somewhere in between the items you already have, you can see that you can change that position. We're gonna click on save. And now, if we go back to our listings cultivate view, you can see we have changed the names of our stages. Now, each one of these stages also has a probability next to it as well. That probability indicates the likelihood of an opportunity that currently resides in this particular stage, its likelihood to close. So if I have a cultivate opportunity and they say we're somewhere between six to 12 months out, well, the likelihood of that deal closing is probably pretty low. I don't know that it's zero percent. So maybe I'm going to come in and I'm going to say, hey, if they're that far out, they're probably more like one to two percent. I'll just put one percent at six to twelve. When we move to three to six months, maybe they're getting a little warmer. Maybe I move them to three percent. One to three months, let's go five percent. And even though they're less than 30 days away, I still haven't made an appointment with them. So they could have selected another agent. I don't really know. We'll go with 10% here. Next up, we've got our checklist. So this is your ability to create specific items that need to be done when an opportunity or transaction exists in this particular stage. So again, this is our listing pipeline. We're in the cultivate phase. 
And right now we're in the six to 12 month stage. So when I create a brand new opportunity that's six to 12 months out, what are some items I might want to make sure that I have done? So it could be add item. And uh, we're gonna say that that task is verify phone, verify all info complete, phone, email, address. And we don't need it to be a client update item. We're gonna get to that in a future challenge, but description may just be ensure all information is present. If not, use white pages or uh, fast people search been verified right these are all a few different sites that you can use to look up information on consumers that might be in your world to complete info i could put a hyperlink to my white pages account my fast people search my been verified account if i wanted to i can also choose a priority level but in this sense i'm going to go ahead and click on create now we can see that this item has been added to our checklist what are some other items i might want to do with this early well, I might want to add item, uh, create custom saved search for neighborhood. If I know where they're living and I want to start sending them listings that match their criteria, well, ensure contact has registered on our site, create saved search. Now that's gonna make sense when we get to consumer, we're gonna talk about saved searches and how someone can register. Stay tuned for all of that, but that might be another item that I would do at the six to 12 month mark. So you can see that you can go along and each one of your stages might have additional checklist items, right? So less than 30 days, well, I need to be following up on a regular basis to make sure that they're ready to meet with me. <clears throat> so I might create checklist items around setting the appointment or getting close to the appointment, whatever it might be. Client updates, I'm actually gonna save for a separate video because there are three different steps to building out a client update, but we'll get to that at a future challenge. Just wanted to show you now that if we go back to Listings Cultivate, we've edited the stages and at least one checklist inside of these stages, you can see our likelihood to close has also been updated. We could continue to do this for each one of our five phases of business. So we could come into appointment. All right, let's click on stages and checklists. Do we like these stage names? Do we like these probabilities? Do we like, or do we need to add any checklist items? And then do we wanna consider adding any of those as client update items? And we'll get to that again in a future challenge. So this does take a little bit of work to think about and build out. Obviously, you have several stages, you have multiple phases, you have multiple pipelines. I would probably start where it makes the most sense for you. So if you are a brand new agent, you might not have any opportunities yet that are active or under contract. So you might wanna focus more on cultivate an appointment. If you're an agent that already has some production, you've got some deals, you're working on a few things, you might wanna start with active and under contract, build out some custom checklists there. So wherever it makes the most sense for you, go ahead and start, focus on the pipeline that impacts your business the most. As a new agent, I know I did a lot of buyer deals before I even got to the point of taking listings. So if that's the case for you, you might wanna focus on the buyer pipeline, come in and open one of these phases and start working on the stages in this pipeline. You might still be in the lease area, right? Or maybe your air market does a lot of leases. You would focus on that pipeline as well. So that's it for today, guys. Introducing the stages inside of each one of our phases and the ability to customize their name, probability to close, a custom checklist, and then we will get into the client update items happening soon. Hope everyone's having a great day. As always, I look forward to talking to you again real soon.